The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Aragon LQ Pre-Harvest Weed Control, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Werner Tobin on the Soybean School. Today I'm joined by Horse Bonner, Omafra Soybean Specialist. Horse, how's it going? Excellent. Hey, I want to talk soybean nodulation. You get a lot of questions from growers, and I guess the first one for me is, what's that right level of nodulation when, you, when you're talking soybeans? Right. So, of course, you have to remember that a 50 bushel crop of soybeans needs at least 200 pounds of actual N. So where is it all supposed to come from? Obviously, there is a fair amount available in the soil, but most of it gets captured through end fixation, through the, those bacteria in those nodules. And so often we get the question in first time fields or fields that have been really stressed, the, the grower will inoculate and then, you know, he goes back, he digs and there's not a lot of nodules, right? And, and then you're like, so now what, right? And so the, the answer to your question directly is that we think you need about seven nodules per plant for a decent crop but of course it depends on the size of those nodules where they're placed in these particular plants we've got lots of nodules and that's what we like to see now just last week i was talking to someone he said you know this field looks completely green lush there's no real obvious uh, nitrogen deficiency but i only have three nodules and at the end of the day i say fine I bet you that crop will be just fine because so much depends, of course, on what's available in the ground anyway. Let's talk about rates. I mean, you're a big believer in feeding the crop, driving yields. Right. When it comes to nitrogen and, you know, optimizing those nodulations, what's that rate discussion? Well, okay, so then we get into, well, if nitrogen is so important and we know that often in August as, uh, as the plant starts to senesce a little bit and uh, all that energy is put into the seed, end fixation really slows down. And that's just the time when nitrogen demand really goes up. So the question is obviously, do you just pour on some nitrogen fertilizer to fill that seed? Because like you said, I'm a big fan of feeding soybeans. I'm convinced that's what it takes to make 100 bushel beans. So what, uh, what play does nitrogen have in that? So in these beans behind us, I apply 200 pounds of urea, twice, 100 pounds each, and then actually at seeding time, I also applied 100 pounds of ammonium sulfate. So there, and you can see visually, these beans are significantly better than these beans. The problem is, of course, you know, the conventional thinking would be that you've basically completely stopped natural end fixation and you're just supplying free nitrogen with chemical fertilizer nitrogen. Here's the interesting part, just dug some plants up and you know what, they're nodulated quite nicely. So obviously this plant is still doing both. It's using the fertilizer we put on, but it's also fixing in. So we don't have an exact rate of what you can put on, but I know this much, 50 pounds, no problem. I've never seen an issue. Would I recommend 300 pounds of N for an average soybean grower? Absolutely not, right? This is an experiment. But I'm, I'm fascinated right here, lots of nodules, and we'll see how this yields compared to where we didn't put any nitrogen this year. 